Before we get this started, just so everyone knows, I'm a little sick, so I apologize in advance for the nasally vocals. Sorry. So here's a forum post of a bunch of neckbeards crying about how Skull of Daira Hamkara is like the worst thing ever since it got nerfed back in like 2019 or whatever. But you know, if it sucks, then that means I probably won't be able to do anything with it, so there's probably not much sense in filming this video. What about you guys? You guys think it sucks? Let's take a look. Yep, that's some grade A trash right there. Mm-hmm. Bungie desperately tries to inhibit my work here on this channel with constant nerfs and weakenings to my favorite armors and weapons. It never fails. I make a video about something, and it gets nerfed. Like that Shattered I've built from like a month back or so. And you know what? Shattered I've got nerfed. What a surprise. But here's the thing. I'm not enough of an egotistical jockstrap to say that Bungo is watching me because this channel is tiny and mostly irrelevant slash inconsequential in the grand scheme of things. It's run by a hack who writes nonsensical slash unintelligent puns and metaphors in all of his scripts, all for the sake of a laugh. But every once in a while, I stuff out something real sweet. Just so we're clear, I'm talking about videos. See, Skull of Daira Hamkara is actually still king for Voidwalker Super Regen. Seems that every time Bungo tries to fix something by weakening players, they add something new in the game that breaks the previous thing they were originally trying to fix. In this case, it was Energy Converter, and if you can peel back the onion layers of irony without tearing up, there's actually a really good build idea here. But before that, let's back up, just for a minute. Let's talk about the Skull of Dire Ahamkara. Actual grandeur provides additional damage resistance during a Nova Bomb, and Nova Bomb kills grant extra super energy. If you're a seasoned player, you can likely already see where we're going with this. We're gonna use Energy Converter with 5 charges immediately after casting a Nova Bomb. The initial cast will drain your super back to zero. That's when you throw the grenade. Somewhere. Wherever. I don't care. Just not the same spot that the Nova Bomb's going. That grenade's gonna consume those charges of light, and if you timed it well, Energy Converter's gonna activate just before Dire Ahamkara does, and you'll get the super regen from both, one right after the other, free of charge. That's zero to seventy in, like, two seconds. That's, a uh, that's a lot of super energy. So, flip the screen. It's skill tree time. Three things we need to get out of the way real quick. Movement mode? Doesn't matter. Class ability? Doesn't matter. Grenade? You guessed it. Doesn't matter. Now that that's out of the way, let's take a look at some core abilities. First, we've got Entropic Pull. Strike an enemy with this melee ability to drain your enemy's life force and use it to recharge your grenade. That is metal as fuck. Second, we've got Cataclysm. Nova Bomb travels slowly and seeks out enemies. Detonations shatter into smaller seekers. You can fire your weapon at the initial projectile to blow it up early. Entropic Pull is only for grenade regen. You might find yourself in a scenario where you've got the charges you need but no grenade to throw. High strength and Entropic Pull will solve that problem, or a weapon with Demolitionist. Cataclysm is only for the speed of the Nova Bomb. If it detonates and kills any targets before you throw your grenade to proc Energy Converter, you've wasted your time and you lose out on the extra super energy. This is what I like to call the Slova Bomb, and it makes activating Dire Ahamkara and Energy Converter simultaneously a thousand times easier than it would normally be. I mean, you could try it on Bottom Tree with Devour, but the, the, the Nova Bomb, it, it travels too fast and, and just just, just good luck. It's, it's not worth it. It is not worth it. Let's take a look at the exotic alone in action without the mod. Here, you can see me demolish a cluster of mobs in this lost sector. So what's happening here is that every kill counts for a small amount of super energy. Unlike similar exotics for other classes, such as Shards of Galanor, for example, you have to actually kill a target with the ability, not just damage it. The more targets that your portable black hole eats, the more energy that's going to come back. The same basic rules apply to all energy regen exotics. The stronger the enemy, the more energy it's going to give back on a kill. However, bosses and majors are nowhere near as common as minor targets. As a result, large mob crowds are usually the most effective, but the same strategy can be used on a boss for small amounts of super energy returned in exchange for eliminating a big boy target. Now, there is a way that we can make this even better, but it requires a few mods. Specifically, you'll need Supercharged, Charged Up, and Energy Converter alongside a Charger mod of your choice. I tend to stick with Taking Charge because all of my guns are masterworked at this point, but you can use whatever. Supercharged and Charged Up are both solar combat mods, so that's two pieces of solar armor you're gonna need to slot them. They slot for five 
energy and two energy, respectively. Energy Converter is a void combat mod that slots for four energy, and for all you new guys out there, we're going to talk about how it works right now. Energy Converter consumes charges of light in exchange for large amounts of super energy upon throwing a grenade. The more charges you have, the more energy you're likely going to get back. It can potentially return up to 50% of your super, but there's a catch to it, and believe it or not, I already said it. Up to 50%. Those are the key words. This means that the mod cannot, won't, and never will charge you any further than 50% of your maximum charge. In other words, only half the bar. In smooth brain terms, if you've got 5 charges and 45% of your super is already charged, you're only getting 5% back when you toss that grenade. Conversely, if you've got 5 charges and your super charge is only at 5%, you'll get anywhere from 35 to 45% of your super energy when you throw your grenade. That's just the nature of the mod, folks. I don't know what else to say. There's an assortment of weapons you could bring with you to spice it up a bit, but I'm done recommending weapons. I always get yelled at in the comments every time I do. So, that being said, if you really wanted to take bad juju, provided you have the catalyst, you're golden. If not, then I'm just not going to recommend anything, because I always get yelled at, and I'm tired of it. On the real, though, if you're not using a kinetic slash energy loadout, you're making a mistake. Right now, pulse rifles and secondary shotguns are a real potent combo, and it would be a real shame not to use that to your advantage. So, we've gone over everything at this point. We've talked about the exotic itself, we've gone over skill trees, we've discussed mods, and I suggested a couple weapons that could potentially be handy in certain scenarios. Now let's finish this video up with a bang. I've already explained this once before, but once more will never hurt. The idea here is to proc energy converter at maximum charges immediately after casting a Nova Bomb. This is why we're using the top tree. The Nova Bomb itself moves significantly slower and it makes it much easier to throw a grenade before your super connects with any targets. If you're like me, you can use first in, last out. A masterwork hard hitting weapon will make for easy orb generation, allowing for faster stacking of charges. Five charges max with all the mods discussed in this video video, a maximum potential energy return of 50% directly after casting, before Skull of Dire Ahamkara kicks in after the super kills. In English, that means throw your grenade immediately after casting. The two buffs should stack on top of one another if you timed it right. In theory, this will almost always return at the very least 70% of your super charge immediately. Depending on crowd clusters and the composition of mobs in said cluster, that number could either be slightly higher or slightly lower, but regardless, how could anybody actually say no to 70% super regen immediately after casting? Either way, that sums up this entire video. It's an easy concept to grasp, and it's just as easy to practice, so go hard in the paint. We got another community broadcast this weekend. I'll be in my cell until then.